Okay, okay, please look closely at your screen. Cleveland police are trying to find this woman. She was involved in an assault and vandalism at a beauty supply store. She was caught on camera brutally attacking those owners. Here's why Jesse Schultz sat down with the son of this couple tonight. Jesse, he says he won't be able to sleep until the woman who attacked his parents is behind bars. Yeah, their son did provide news five with cell phone and surveillance video of that attack. But I do have to warn you, it is hard to watch. All I'm trying to do is get my items. What started as a disagreement Friday evening inside Chic Beauty Supply on Lorraine Road? The reason I'm clear of it, we cannot give you anything. Because he's not clear of it. Ended violently for David Joe's parents. He says a customer came in and could not pay for the item she wanted. It was one of those prepaid debit cards, and she put the PIN numbers in, and it was declined, and uh, she was not happy. Just give me my... That's all I'm asking. I'm not broke. You don't even touch anything. Just an empty card. His mother then tells his father behind the counter to call the police, and the woman suddenly attacks the two. Call the police. Watching them be so helpless and... You know, beaten like that so brutally it was, uh, was tough to watch. This surveillance video also caught the attack on camera. The video shows the woman lunge at Joe's father, and when his mother stepped in, she started beating and dragging her, knocking her unconscious. I knew what I was watching, but I couldn't believe what I was watching. After about a minute, the woman leaves the store. Just because they're so weak and helpless, she decided to be okay to attack them, which is uh, was unbelievable to me. And, uh, over $11 purchase. Joe says his parents, both in their 60s, were left bloodied and bruised. They're going to pretty bad. He says they're proud people who keep to themselves. Monday, they even went back to work to clean up the store. All they want to do is, again, you know, work hard and make it here as any, you know, immigrants do when they come in and try to make a better life for themselves and for their children. But as their child, he wants to take care of them. And he says he can't do that if this woman is still out there. I need to find this person and make sure that she's held accountable for, you know, the damage she's caused.